in one place and say your helper will locate you. Your helper is busy. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala barakatuh. So today we are going to talk about the need for you to learn to take chances. They need to bury your fear. It is important for you to be an overthinker, process information, process the effect, process the result, and process the, the possible consequence. But sometimes, when you overprocess information, it, it keeps you in a state of stagnancy where you'd be scared to make a move. I was discussing with my driver on the need for him to start taking risk. Risk. The reason why some of you are still where you are today is because you are scared of taking risk. Financial risk, emotional risk, whatever ever risk at all, you're just scared of taking risk. And let me be honest with you. If any successful person want to give you a hint on how they become successful, one of the major things they'll tell you is that they are risk takers. The moment you take a decision to start taking risk, everything will change for good. The only thing about risk is that you have to wait. Look at the risk you're about to embark on and choose the one you know that you can manage. Every risk comes with danger. There's an atom of danger in every risk that makes you want to like take a decision like I don't think this is what I want to do. But if you continue with that because you do not want to feel any pain, any disappointment, you hate rejection, you will never move from a place of stagnancy. If you have been contemplating taking a loan to start up a business, especially when the loan had no interest attached, please do it. We all have a destiny. There is a road and a path for each and every one of us. The way one person makes it to the top is not going to be applicable to other people. That is not the way life works. If you meet a person, if you want them to be a part of your growth, if you want them to guide you to success, speak up. Stop being scared. Some of you, by men looking of somebody's car, you just assume they are tough. They are not approachable. Make a move. You see that person that your spirit has been telling you that you should talk to about your problem? Make a move. You're not a beggar. It is all about how you present yourself. Let's assume I am a millionaire and a person is coming to me to seek for my help. The help you are seeking from me must be measurable. These are the things I'm going to consider before I will take a decision of helping you or not. And before I move further, even the rich you are going to seek help from, it does not mean that because they are riding expensive cars that they have billions of naira sitting in their accounts pretty. These people are investing. They can only take the risk of taking from their investments to invest in you with the hope of getting their money back. So a situation whereby you are expecting somebody to invest in you that you're going to pay back, you have to go seek for help with value in your hands and your mouth. Don't go there when you are not prepared. Some of you are so disorganized, you don't know where to start from. If they should ask you, okay, what would you like me to do for you? For instance, you come meet me, you talk to me about your problems, and the next thing I ask you is, how would you like me to impact your life? The first thing I'm expecting to hear from you is something that will regenerate money for you. Not you telling me that I should give you money to buy food, give you money to do this, give you money to do that. I'm expecting that you should place a value in front of me. Okay, sir, ma, um, I have interest in selling car spare parts. Um, I've known about car spare parts. I know about the, engin uh, the engines, the, the dad, the boat, and I used to travel before to get something like this. I have done a lot of research. This is the cost, blah, 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 blah. This is what rich men want to hear. Immediately you start explaining what you want. Do not stop. As you are explaining what you want, you are backing it up with further explanation. They expect you to talk about the cost. They expect you to talk about the gain that you're going to generate from it. They expect you to talk about your target customers. It means that you already do market survey. You already have a budget target for what you want to do. The only thing holding you back now is money. No rich person who makes money legitly that will listen to you that way that will reject helping you because they can see that you have a vision, you have a mission, you just need help to accomplish it. And they'll be very certain that because of the effort you have put into making research on what you want to do, they feel safe 
that whichever way you're going to be an accountable person accountability is one thing these people always look out for they need to know that you are an accountable person before they would budge into helping you so when you come with a value they are going to invest in that value when you come with uncertainty they are going to make promises to you and they would never call you back stand up today and take a risk talk to somebody and don't be scared of rejection whoever that has been destined to help you will help you but don't sit in one place and say your helper will locate you your helper is busy go and look for your helper and present a value in front of them and trust me they are going to help you use that value to make money have a nice day